my name's Karen. <laughs> I'm from Downey. Growing up, uh, a lot of kids that I went to school with were liking the music that was coming out, and main, mainly it was uh, like hip hop and like rap and pop music and I really didn't like it and <laughs> I liked all this rock music and punk rock music and even like metal but um yeah I always felt pretty I guess outcasted growing up because nobody really understood that kind of music that I was listening to and it wasn't until I was in high school where I actually found a, a, a small group of friends that were listening to the same kind of music that I was listening to and I was grateful for that but there's still that feeling like you feel so like apart from the rest of the people in school. My childhood when I went to when I was in elementary school, Downey was still kind of like a, a white city, like more white people than Hispanics. But Hispanics started like moving in and stuff and I, um, to me, I never actually, like, it's weird to say that, like, I don't classify with, like, being Hispanic or anything, mainly because I didn't grow up with any of the traditions, like, having a quinceañera or, like, anything like that. I do know, like, a little bit of Spanish, but, like, my mom was kind of, um, I don't know, I guess, I don't want to say it, but I guess I was kind of whitewashed <laughs> growing up. You know, nobody really taught me anything from that culture. So, like, I pretty much just grew up in a very, I guess, American, American way. So, growing up, I never really uh, classified myself as, I knew I was Hispanic, but I didn't, I didn't think that I fit into that like category. Like, I didn't have friends that were like Hispanic, like everyone I saw, was just, um, if you liked what I listened to, then you were my friend. I didn't really see, like, race. So when I was in high school, I had this friend named Lewis. He was, like, one of my punk rock friends. And uh, we used to, like, write poetry together and write short stories and, like, share them to each other. And um, he was just a really good friend, and he used to write me letters sometimes. And um, one time he sent me a letter, and it had like this drawing of like this cat in space, and it said like Cosmic Kitty on the bottom, and he, that was like his nickname for me. And I thought it was really cute, and so um, when I was playing guitar a little bit more, um, and writing music, I was like, oh, I don't want to just be like Karen Hernandez, you know, it's boring. You know, so I, I was looking at, I saw, you know, I saw that picture and I was just like, Cosmic Kitty. I'm like, what if I, I, you know, what if I'm called Cosmic Kitten? Like, that'd be pretty cool. And I feel like it matches me a little since I'm so obsessed with cats. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that's pretty much how I got the name. And it just kind of stuck since I was 15 or 16.
was he and sir? Disease black and all its cancer. I'm just coughing out my lungs. Just speaking out. I'm feeling short. All this money. I have to pay all of your mistakes. I cannot say I'm tired of your dismay. I'm nothing but a ruined The song I played today is called Lamp in Its Shade, and um, I pretty much wrote it, um, maybe like almost two years ago. I mainly would write my songs in this park in Downey called Apollo Park, and I would go there pretty often just to play guitar and just kind of meditate, I guess, because I had a lot going on in my life. And that's mainly what, what brought me to, to write music. But when I wrote that song, um, I was just kind of sitting there and improvising, you know, and the way I usually write songs and how I wrote, how I wrote that song was I just kind of play some chords and then I'll just kind of sing words to it and then I'll just write it down. <laughs> but the song is pretty much about um, feeling like... Uh, like you have a lot to give and you have a lot to ex express, but you can't, like, you feel like there's, like you're a lamp <laughs> and there's like a shade. And so the shade is like this invisible, like, thing that's just like surrounding, surrounding me to the point where like I can't really express myself and no one really knows what's like preventing me from doing it because... I just, um, I just have this inability to express myself sometimes, and so, but I feel like I have a lot to, a lot to say, so, playing music is kind of like my outlet, because I can't really express myself in a different way, can't really talk to people that often, and can't really say the right words, and I'm just, you know, usually quiet all the time, and, but, you know, when I write music, I feel like, that is, that is my outlet. <laughs> and so, I guess on a personal note, Lamp in a Shade is kind of about me. Um, it's like this little metaphor, I guess, I, I created for myself. That I'm like this light, but there's a shade kind of covering it. <laughs> For some reason, it's like just something that really, like, I was really attracted to it. Like, something about the sound and, like, the way people played it 
uh, I just I really wanted I really wanted to do it and like a lot of my my favorite bands I was really like awed by like the lead singers and them playing guitar and stuff and I just I really wanted to do it so when I tried it um, I was like 12 13 when I first picked up guitar and it kind of just came naturally to me like I kind of knew you know what sounds you know sounded kind of good and I learned from from tablatures and then I learned chords and stuff like that from for my favorite songs at the time and it just kind of came naturally to me and I felt a really strong emotional like connection with guitar I felt that that was something I could kind of play in the background and like I could sing you know what I wanted to sing about um, I don't know I just kind of latched onto it there's no real like there's no real thing behind it as to why I chose it. It's just something that, uh, I guess it chose me. <laughs> I didn't choose it, it chose me. <laughs>